Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Pastor Michael Veach, Wooler Evangelical Church in Northumberland, and a former councillor in East Lothian. Well, presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, it's a great honour to stand before you today. When I stood down from politics at the local elections last year to begin life in ministry, it would be fair to say I thought I'd forfeited any opportunity of ever appearing in the official report here at Holyrood. So I suppose my presence here does in some way demonstrate that God moves in mysterious ways. Um, in June, I visited an old congregational chapel down in Norwich where the following words were pinned to the door. This chapel is not a museum for saints, but a hospital for sick souls. Sadly, the church is very often perceived as a place for people who have their lives sorted out, or even worse, who think that they are in some way morally superior to everybody else. In reality, of course, Jesus had very little time for religious hypocrites. And he said, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. In other words, it's only people who know their lives are a mess who realize they need a savior and that they need Jesus. And for such as them did Jesus die that they may be reconciled to God by faith in him. Now, none of us would care very much for a medic who only offered us vague solutions. And as politicians, you are in the business of promoting tangible solutions to the nation's problems each and every day. Likewise, Jesus Christ came into the world to offer truth. Now, alongside my ministry in Northumberland, I continue to study theology here in Edinburgh. And this year, we've been looking at this wonderful old document, the Scots Confession of 1560 written by, by John Knox and, and some others. And upon the title page of this work, we find these words. Exhibited to the Estates of Scotland in Parliament in August 1560 and approved by their public vote as doctrine founded upon the infallible word of God. In other words, the Scottish Reformation was built upon the belief that the Bible is the revealed word of God and that what it teaches about Jesus and about God and about humanity is true. So as a former politician turned pastor and as a Scot, albeit one currently exiled 14 miles across the border, may I wish you well in your endeavors to serve the people of this great country. The Bible teaches that those in authority have been appointed by God. So may he be your guide this day and in the weeks and years ahead. Thank you very much.